Welcome to this OMI video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create a monitoring dashboard within an OMI workspace. A monitoring dashboard provides an event-driven overview of your monitored environment. You can click the dashboard widgets to quickly apply filters to your event browser. We will create a monitoring dashboard, add it to an OMI workspace, and grant users access to it. We want the OMI workspace to include a monitoring dashboard that shows a summary of all events, events assigned to me, events unresolved for more than three hours, events filtered by application domain and by region, and events for the widget processing application. Let's start by creating the monitoring dashboard. Go to Administration and click Monitoring Dashboards under Operations Console. If there is a dashboard close to what you want, you can copy and modify it. We want to create a new dashboard, so click the New Item button. Give the dashboard a name. Add the first widget to the canvas by clicking the plus icon. We want a pie chart that shows all events, so we'll call it All Events and not set any filters. Click Next to choose whether the widget should show animated. This means that when the number of events changes, the pie graph will update in a smooth flowing motion. Keep the default and click Finish. Next, we'll add an overview widget. This is for a business application, so we will call it Widget Processing. Set the view filter so that only events for this application are included. Choose whether the widget should show in compact mode. Compact mode just displays an overall severity and event count. We want the details, so don't check this box. Now we will add a simple status widget to show events assigned to me. Click the Manage Event Filters button to see the event filters that are available. Note that the event dashboard can use only shared event filters. You can mark a filter as shared by clicking on the Share Item icon. For this widget, we want Assigned to Me, so select that filter and click Finish. Add the rest of the widgets in the same way. Now we can add the dashboard to our workspace. Click the Workspaces menu and go to the workspace page you want to edit. Click Edit Page Layout. We want a vertical split, so click the Switch To button. Then click the Split icon to divide the area in two. Drag the divider where you want and exit editing. If the pane is in the wrong position, just drag it across to the correct place. Click the Add Component button. Drag the monitoring dashboard into the placeholder area and close the component gallery. From the drop-down list, select your monitoring dashboard and click OK. Check if the wiring is in place by clicking widgets in the monitoring dashboard to see if it updates the event browser. It doesn't, so we need to configure the wiring. Click the Page Wiring button. For the monitoring dashboard source component, there are two contexts or opportunities for wiring. Enable wiring from the monitoring dashboard to the event browser in both contexts. Test that the wiring works now when you click a widget in the monitoring dashboard. To save the workspace, click the Save or Save As button. Now you can grant users access to this workspace including all the components it contains. Go to Administration, Users, and select Users, Groups, and Roles. Select the user role through which you want to grant users access and edit it. Under Permissions, expand Workspaces and User Pages underneath, and grant view permissions for your page. Expand Operations Console and Monitoring Dashboards underneath, and grant permission to your monitoring dashboard. Remember that our event dashboard contained a widget processing view filter. The user must have permission to see that view, so check the RTSM permissions. In this case, the user group can see all views. Save the role. 
Nick is a member of this group. Let's log in as Nick and confirm his access to the page. Select the page from the drop-down list and see that it is rendered correctly. To learn more about configuring dashboards, see the Monitoring Dashboards topic in the OMI Online Help.